All right, Microsoft just announced a new piece of hardware called the Microsoft HoloLens. What is it? So we're finally getting holograms. Ah, uh, not quite. The Microsoft HoloLens is really a head-mounted display that gives you an augmented reality look at things around you in terms of operating. So what Microsoft showed off today called the HoloLens is something that actually uh, is a head-mounted display that packs a lot of things into it. So Microsoft says it's got a CPU, high-end CPU and high-end GPU. Not sure what that means or what that is. It could be something in the mobile range categories, but we know it's got a high-end CPU and GPU. They also said it's got a third processor in there called the HPU or holographic processor. Now, I've heard arguments with Sam already today and Microsoft called this a HoloLens or holographic imaging. According to Microsoft, yes, it is holographic imaging because it is a display of light projected on the surface, aka the screen, and not necessarily what we think of from Star Wars where, of course, light is projecting off another surface in front of us without actually the use of a screen. So uh, you can argue those points there. But the HoloLens works and is going to work with Windows 10. Whenever this comes out, we have no idea when this device will hit the market, but we do know that Microsoft is very serious in bringing this device to the market. Now, the HoloLens, uh, according to what Microsoft wants to do, they want to be, it wants it to be a wireless um, a system. And some of the demos they showed at the event and some of the demos you see in this videos and some of the videos they have there are basically using it wirelessly within the home. Now, one of the coolest demos they showed at the event was actually one of the Microsoft techs actually building a, a 3D model of a drone helicopter uh, that she was later on going to print that out and basically you know create. So you think about the whole creation aspects of the HoloLens. The way the HoloLens actually works is that um, the, the, uh, the display is actually uh, showing you augmented reality. So it's a clear display so you can see through, but it also uh, has its menus and it showcases that in front of you. So you can actually air touch to activate and carry and drag and drop and do different things on there. So one of the things you notice in the video here is that there's a guy in the kitchen, he walks around, he's, there's something on the, the, on the main countertop. And if you look, he looks at his fridge, he has something pinned there. So you can pin things according to what Microsoft said, you can pin things in different aspects of your home. So in the kitchen, on the the kitchen uh, on the on the refrigerator is actually the calendar, the family calendar. And on the left, on the right side of the wall is a couple of video apps and email. And in the center of the wall, you have a TV screen, which is actually holographically projected, or you could say it's an aug augmented reality to be in fact. So basically you can resize it and do things like that. Another cool demo was a lady who was walking through the office space uh, at work and uh, she was having a Skype call and the Skype call is, is basically projected there and she's talking about transferring files and you can see uh, the individual basically drag the files uh, from you know the OneDrive folder and into another folder. So there's a lot of easy maneuverability in there because you can pin things in different places. And the idea is that say you want to watch Netflix, uh, yeah, you can open up Netflix and watch if you want to, but you can also pin Netflix in certain rooms in your house. So you could theoretically have uh, a whole room or your living room without any displays or TVs and walk in and right up above, say, the fire places where your Netflix is pinned or your Hulu or your Xbox music uh, video app and you can just tap on that and that brings up this massive display. So it could be any size of display you want. It could be smaller, it could be larger, it depends on how you want it to look because it's all aug it's basically augmented reality in front of you. So it could be the whole, you could have a 108 inch screen or you could have basically a 50 inch screen, depends on your choice there. So that's that's some of the things of how it it, it works and how it, it, it works in, in the in the living room or in your space. Another cool um, uh, video or at least demonstration they showed was actually a lady at work sitting down in front of the desk creating something for a motorcycle and the motor the real motorcycle is there it's not finished and she gets up and she goes over to the motorcycle and she adds a few features but you can see what she's working on right there almost physically it's one thing to see it on screen it's another thing to see it physically attached to something else 
which is actually pretty cool. And one of the biggest ones is actually when they showcase Minecraft. And actually that demo is available at the Windows event is that uh, they sh there's a guy in his living room. He walks in and you can see he has a whole Minecraft like city created. Now, I don't play Minecraft. I'm not a Minecraft player. But when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I want one. Give me one. Give me one right now so I can actually create something and destroy and kick around and do whatever I want to do with it. If you can do that, that is something that I think would be very, very massive and something a lot of people will definitely enjoy because it brings the power of creation to your fingertips, your hands is what we know how to do well. Now, some of you are going to ask, how is this different from Google Glass and how is this different from uh, things like Oculus Rift or Gear VR? Well, in terms of um, Oculus Rift, which is virtual reality, or you can say even to some degree still augmented reality, depends on how you want to look at it, um, is more virtual reality because it's actually projected screen. Um, Oculus Rift basically allow, is your tethered to a controller and you also sit it for most of the time. So you sit it, your, your controller, you're either moving objects or you're controlling things. It's more of a gaming experience or even it's a, a pseudo simulation experience. There's nothing to do with the outside world. It's more into the world, whatever is created for you. Google Glass works more like augmented reality, but uses a lot of uh, flickering. And also it's a smaller screen display, even though it goes up to about 50 feet, I believe in, in size. And there's a lot of voice prompts, but that's something that really hasn't uh, progressed forward. Now with what you have here with uh, the HoloLens from Microsoft is something a little bit in the middle. It's, it's augmented reality, really. It's really augmented reality. Even though Microsoft says it's you know holographic, if you will. But it does a very good job from at least what we've seen from the demos is that it does a good job in allow you to create, move, and function. Now. This is not the final product. We don't know when it's going to be out on the market. Most likely, I'm thinking 2016 at, at this rate because some some things I've heard is that it, you know it's just a lot of demo units, a lot of demo demonstrations. It's not out there. It's not fully out there yet. But Microsoft has an idea of what they want to do. Like I said, it's got three processors built in. It's got spatial sound, so basically you can hear things behind you, in front of you. It gives you the ability of creating worlds. So think about you exploring Mars in your living room, or you, you know even exploring playing a game in your living room there, where you can actually. Uh, use your couch, your environments around you to actually create the game. Kind of like that Microsoft projector, that, that idea of what we thought Connect was going to be, where it was the whole living room. This is what it is. So I like what I see here with uh, Microsoft HoloLens, even though technically it's augmented reality. Um, I think, you know, I, I hope they do a lot to actually push it forward, get developers built into that, see how different applications will actually work with that. I want to see how even some of the social media stuff works with it, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Facebook, how can those guys actually push the boundary there? And also want to see what game developers do with it in terms of creating something a little bit more um, finite. And also I would like to see the capabilities and other things like medicine. You know, we know how uh, virtual reality can help medicine and do practice in surgery and things like that. But how about augmented reality? How can, maybe, you know, we can get into that world where that becomes almost our x-ray to see the internal organs and we know how people are doing and things like that. And you can actually do some more work. So there are many possibilities with this. It's powered by Windows 10. It's got three processes in, in, built in. It's got spatial sound. So um, this is something that's really cool, but it's not there yet. It's going to be a while before it hits the market. And I probably bet it might be pricey. So anyway, if you have a, any questions or any comments about the Microsoft HoloLens, let me know. What are your thoughts? What do you think about it? Do you think it's cool? Do you think this will uh, take a hold in gaming and entertainment and in, in business and other aspects? What do you guys think about the micro, Microsoft HoloLens? Let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share this video and favorite this video so we can make more videos for you. Subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.